Hey there, it's Ashley here. Welcome to Create Full Art. Today I'm going to show you how to paint on eggs with some watercolor. And we're going to be outlining them with some marker. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my colors. Now, I want you to choose whatever colors you want for your eggs, okay? I used, some of these colors I used were um, Cobalt Violet and Permanent Rose in Cadmium Orange. So you can choose those colors if you want. And what I did is I took some white watercolor because um, I wanted them to be more pastel when I added them to my eggs. And it's really difficult to make a bright color lighter on these eggs because we really can't just spread the pigment more and it dries quickly. So I'm actually adding white to watercolor paint, which is kind of weird for some people to think about, but that's how we're going to do it. Um, most of the time when you're using watercolor paint, you are using the white of your paper. And for this, it'd be an ink, but we want pastels. The next step is making some blobs on your egg. <laughs> They're gonna turn into flowers, I promise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to basically kind of make a blob petal looking thing. See how it kind of is some petals there? And I don't wanna start out with my darkest colors if I'm going to add some dark colors in the middle. Um, or some white colors in the middle. I want to start out with my lighter colors because it's just going to cover those with dark if I don't start out with them. Okay, so now, right now, it's wet. I don't want to mess with it while it's wet. If I go in while it's wet, it's just going to run all over the place with the other color. Okay, which might be a look that you like. Here, let me show you with blue. Okay. You might like how it spreads. I'm just going to wait, okay? See how it does that? Okay, and I'm going to let that dry, and I'm going to make another flower. And I'm just going to put two flowers on each egg, just to simplify it. So this one's going to be bigger. This is so fast, you guys. Okay, and then I'm gonna let that dry. And I'm gonna go back to my flower behind here, being careful. It's almost dry, but it's probably pretty good around the edges here. So I'm gonna add my green for my leaf. Remember, it doesn't have to really look like a leaf right now. It's just a blob. We'll come back in and we make it look really good. And then when this center is getting pretty close to being dry, I'm going to add another color. I'm going to add some orange. So I can kind of give it a different look if I want. And I have more control over how it spreads. And if I want that to be a lighter color, then I can come in. I can grab some white if I want. Let's see. I want to do that. And that's how it looks. Okay. Now, what we do is we wait for this to completely dry and we move on to another one. And step number three is take your pen or your marker and this is where it becomes a flower. Now I'm going to kind of look at the shapes here and I'm thinking, ooh, three little round things, that's pretty. Okay. 
And here's where I come and make my flower looking thing. Now, it don't matter that your watercolor is going to go outside of those lines. That is what is cool about this piece of art here. It makes it look really fun. And I don't know if there's a three petal flower, but that's how it's going to be, okay? And I'm going to make some funky little things coming out here. Why not? Well, it's so pretty. Okay, and then I just come over here and outline it sort of. See? And I'm using a brown because I like how that looks, but you can use black if you'd like or another color. See? So the next one that's got this random thing going on here, I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to integrate that. Okay, it's a little wet still, but this isn't. Ooh. Your leaves can be any shape you like. In fact, while you're painting this, you'll probably find that you have a different style than me. And everything will kind of look a little different. Maybe. Maybe I like it. Maybe not. I don't know. That's kind of a different look. I want to see your beautiful blobs turn into flowers. Alright? So go ahead and just take 20 minutes out of your day. Make some beautiful eggs to display in your home. And I hope you had fun with me. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And I will see you next time for some more egg decorating. You can go ahead and go over to createflower.com and subscribe to the newsletter. It's also called Joining the Party because this is fun, fun art party. And please subscribe if you are enjoying these videos so that you know when the next ones are coming up. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.